Hi guys, this is a new book we have in our library called We Are Grateful. And this word is a special uh, Cherokee word called Ojali Ojali Heliga. Ojali Heliga. And here is the written form of the word in the actual Native American language. I specifically chose this book because I know some of our classes are talking about Native Americans and learning different things about Native Americans, especially in this time around Thanksgiving. So I'm going to actually share my screen so that you can see the pictures better and we'll go through this book now. Here it is. We are grateful. Ojali Heliga by Tracy Sorrell and illustrated by Franny Lissac, read with permission of Charles Bridge. Cherokee people say Ojali Heliga to express gratitude. It is a reminder to celebrate our blessings and reflect on struggles daily throughout the year and across the seasons. So not just at Thanksgiving time, but throughout the year. Oligo husti, oligo husti. That means fall. When cool breezes blow and leaves fall, we say ojali heliga. As shell shakers dance all night around the fire and burnt cedar scent drifts upward through the great new moon ceremony. As we clean out our houses, wear new clothes, enjoy a feast and forget old quarrels to welcome the Cherokee New Year. While we collect buckbrush and honeysuckle to weave baskets, to remember our ancestors who suffered hardships and loss on the Trail of Tears. And we have hope as our Elise grandma cradles the newest member of the family and reveals his Cherokee name. Gola, winter. As bears sleep deep and snow blankets the ground, we say Ojali Heliga, while elders share stories and we savor buttery bean bread and steamy hominy soup. As when we feed our animal and bird friends. As older children teach younger ones how to make corn husk dolls and play cane flutes. While we gather to remember an uncle who has passed on as men cuddle babies and sing traditional lullabies in Salagi, Ojalagi, Cherokee. Gogegi, spring. When showers fill streams and shoots spring up, we say Oj Ojaliheliga. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no, I didn't. What things are you thankful for in the spring? While men sing asking for thunder and lightning's protection of the emerging sprouts that the women tend. As we gather wild onions, spring's first food and serve them with hen's eggs. As we practice patience to sew pucker toe moccasins and coil clay to be build beautiful pots. As we plant ani, strawberries, an ancestral story's sweet smelling reminder not to argue with each other. As we embrace a clan relative heading off to serve our country. Gogi, summer. As the crops mature and the sun scorches, we say ojali heliga. When we grasp our gigs and wade into the cool creek to catch crawdads for supper. As we sink our teeth into the season's first harvest at the green corn ceremony. While we click clack sticks, chase a small ball and fling it high at the stick ball game pole. 
When we recall the ancestors' sacrifices to preserve our way of life, to celebrate Nulista Nudola, Nulista Nidola, Dalo, Dalu, history, and listen to our tribal leaders speak at Cherokee National Holiday. Every day, every season, Ojali Heliga, we are grateful. Wow, guys, there's a lot we can learn from this story. What kind of things can we be grateful for? What sort of things do we have in our daily lives that we could be grateful for, like the things they talk about? I mean, they were, this book found things in every season to be grateful for. Can you think about the seasons? Think about different times of year, different things you do, places you go, things you get. Um, think about those things and let's remember, let's try and remember all year long to be grateful for them in this spirit of Ojali Heliga. I hope you enjoyed learning a little more about one Native American, uh, Native American tribe, the Cherokee.